book of wrong acts kitabu cha matendo ya mitume the book of acts chapter number 6 matendo ya mitume mlango ni wa 6 from verse 1 kwanza mstari wa kwanza in those days when the number of disciples was increasing basi ikawa katika siku hizo wakati idadi za wanafunzi ilikuwa ikiongezeka sana the Hellenis, hellenistic jews among them complained against the hebrew jews jews because of their widows palitokea manunguniko kati ya wayahudi wa kiyunani dhidi ya waebrania kwa sababu ya wajane wao they said walisema their widows were being overlooked the daily distribution for food kwamba wajane wao walikuwa na kuacha wapewi chakula katika siku za kupewa chakula when there was increase wakati kulikuweko na ongezeko then complain and murmuring entered na manunguniko na kulalamika ikaingia in the days of the disciples kwa zile siku za wanafunzi wa Yesu the book of acts 6 chapter 6 verse 1 kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 6 moja record ina nakili the problems that came in zile shida ambazo ilijitokeza when there was increase wakati kulikuweko na ongezeko the number was growing ile idadi ilikuwa inaongezeka many people were joining the church watu wengi walikuwa naungana na kanisa beloved people watu wapendwa good and bad wema na ubaya were joining the church wote walikuwa naungana na kanisa allow me jump ahead of myself niruhusu nisonge mbele yangu and tell you something na niwaambie jambo when noah wakati nuhu made the ark alitengeneza safina this is very important hii ni muhimu kabisa When Noah made the earth. Wakati Nuhu alitengeneza safina. And allowed different type of animals enter. Akaruhusu aina tofauti tofauti ya wanyama kuingia. And they were closed inside the ark. Na walifungiwa pale ndani ya safina. Something very strange took place inside the ark. Kitu cha kushangaza kabisa kilifanyika pale ndani kwenye safina. The snake. Nyoka. Did not did not bite man. Hakumuuma mwanadamu. And the wild animals became very friendly. Na wale wanyama wa mwitu wakawa wakawa wazuri kabisa. You did not hear anywhere where a lion ate a lamb. Haukusikia popote mahali simba alimkula mwana kondoo. Where cheetah mahali yule cheetah ate an antelope. Alikula yule antelope. For 40 days. Kwa siku 40. Which they were with Noah. Wakati ambapo walikuwa pale ndani na Nuhu. Inside the ark. Ndani ya safina. They were hypocritically saved. Walikuwa kwa mesokolewa kiunafiki. They all humbled and obeyed. Wote wakajinyenyekesha na wakati. Until they left the ark. Hadi walipoondoka kwenye safina. And every animal went back to their normal lifestyle. Kisha kila aina ya mnyama akarudi kwa ile mtindo wake wa maisha. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. The church is like the ark. Kanisa ni kama safina. Where everybody enters. Mahali ambapo kila mtu anaingia. The wicked and the humble. Wale waovu na wale wanyenyekevu. Listen to me. Nisikizeni. The church is the congregation of sinners. Kanisa ni kusanyiko la wenye dhambi. Who are looking for the mercies of God. Wanaotafuta rehema za Mungu. All of us have come. Sisi sote tumekuja. Because there is something in you that you need God to solve. Kwa sababu kuna kitu ndani yako unamhitaji Mungu aisuluhishe. You have come to God. Umekuja kwa Mungu. So the way we are here Kwa hivyo jinsi ambavyo tuko hapa Everybody has their weaknesses Kila mtu ana udhaifu wake problem, na shida zake They are born again Wote wameokoka But they are struggling with a certain issue Lakini wanangangana na swala fulani And they have come to church Na wamekuja kanisani And they are now many Na sasa wako wengi So many people who are sinners when they are gathered Hivyo watu wengi wakiwa wamekusanyika ambao ni watenda dhambi When they are gathered Wakati wamekusanyika Sin increases Dhambi inaongezeka He said Anasema In the days of Noah Kwa siku za Nuhu when the number increased Wakati idadi iliongezeka Then sin entered Basi dhambi ikaingia In the book of Acts Acts chapter 6 Kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 6 When the number of disciples increased Wakati idadi ya wanafunzi iliongezeka Then murmuring and complaint entered Basi manunguniko na kulalamika ikaingia Now listen basisikiza even in this church hata katika kanisa hili as the number grows wakati idadi inaongezeka we will have people in church who are hiding tutapata watu kanisani wao ndio jificha and there are those who are truly born again na kuna wale ambao kwa kweli wameokoka they will all be in the church wote watakuwa kanisani 
but i wish you can choose the right side lakini laite gani natamani ungechagua upande ulio bora not to hide in church sio kujificha kanisani now listen sasa sikiza in the days of noah kwa zile siku za nuhu three things happened vitu vitatu vilifanyika number one ya kwanza was the immorality between the sons of god and the daughters of humans ni ule usherati miongoni mwa wana wa mungu na mabinti wa wanadamu and that scripture begins na andiko hilo linaanza by the grieving of the heart of god kwa ule kunungunika na kusikitika kwa moyo wa mungu and today i'm going to explain to you things that can cause god to grieve na leo ninaenda kuwaelezea na kuambia yale mambo ambayo yatamfanya mungu asikitike and when god grieves over you na wakati mungu anakusikitikia many things you will not find vitu vingi hautavipata because when god grieves over you kwa sababu mungu anapokusikitikia there will be no grace hakutakuweko na neema no favor hakutakuweko kuweko na kibali no peace hakutakuweko na amani no love hakutakuweko na upendo no presence of god hakuna uwepo wa mungu when god grieves over wakati mungu anakusikitikia and in this scripture na katika andiko hili genesis chapter 6 mwanzo mlango wa 6 from verse 1 to verse 9 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza hadi 9 is recorded when god is grieving ana inanakiliwa wakati mungu anasikitika you can therefore say kwa kiwa kwa hivyo unaweza sema the book of genesis chapter 6 chapter 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 6 from verse 1 kitabu cha mwanzo sita mstari wa kwanza verse 9 hadi mstari wa 9 recorded the grief of god ilinakili yale masikitiko ya mungu the grief of god ule yale masikitiko ya mungu the regret of god ile kujuta kwa mungu Genesis 6 verse 1 to verse 9. Mwanzo 6 mstari wa kwanza hadi 9. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. He saying anasema the sons of God wana wa Mungu and the daughters of men na mabinti wa wanadamu fell to sin. Walianguka kwa dhambi. But now look at me. Nitazameni sasa. Just look at me. Nitazameni. It is amazing yashangaza kabisa of the type of sin that was found those days. Ya ile aina ya dhambi ambayo ilipatikana siku hizo. The immorality level was unique. Kiwango chao cha usherati ulikuwa kiwango kingine. Because kwa sababu everybody has been asking. Kila mtu amekuwa kiuliza. Who are these sons of God? Hawa wana wa Mungu ni akina nani? And who are these daughters of men? Na hawa mabinti wa wanadamu ni akina nani? Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. You don't need to confuse yourself. Hauhitaji kujichanganya. That scripture explains itself. Andiko hilo linajieleza yenyewe. Because that scripture says kwa sababu ndiko hilo linasema the sons of god kwamba wana wa mungu and the daughters of humans na wabinti wa wanadamu so is that not open basi hiyo si wazi because when they are daughters of humans kwa sababu ni mabinti wa wanadamu but sons of god lakini wana ni wa mungu so sons of the sons of god kwa hivyo wana wa mungu those days siku hizo were the angels walikuwa malaika created not to die walioumbwa wastahili kufa separated from the moral decay wametengwa na ule uharibifu wa kufa holy and lives in the presence of god watakatifu na wameishi katika uwepo wa mungu they were the messengers walikuwa wale wajumbe the servants of god in heaven watumishi wa mungu mbinguni until they were misled hadi wakati walipotoshwa by this wicked lucifer na huyu lucifer muovu who later turned to be Satan. Ambaye baadaye alibadilika na kuwa shetani. And you find the Bible you can read about him. Na unaweza pata kwa Biblia usome kumuhusu. How God himself is talking about him. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu mwenyewe anazungumza kumuhusu. The way he created him. Jinsi ambavyo alimuumba. He said you are creating you are, you are mountains and settings. Anasema jinsi ambavyo ulitengenezwa. We are made of gold. Ilikuwa imetengenezwa na dhahabu. And you are walking in fire. Na ulikuwa unatembea kwa moto. He talked well of him. Alizungumza vema kumuhusu. Until he said until we has entered your heart. Hadi alisema wakahadi uovu ukaiuovu ukaingia ndani ya moyo wako. And you are thrown out. Na ukatupwa nje. So who are this and who are these sons of God? Basi hawa wana wa Mungu ni akina nani? These are the fallen angels. Hawa ni malaika walioanguka. Where am I saying so? Kwa nini nasema hivyo? In that scripture. Katika andiko hilo. God is saying. Mungu anasema. My spirit will not contend with humans. Roho yangu tena haitangangana na mwanadamu. Forever. Milele. Their days are now 120. Siku zao sasa ni 100 
moja na ishirini. So the angels were representing his spirit on the earth. Hivyo malaika walikuwa na washiria roho yake hapa duniani. And then the humans. Na kisha wanadamu. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. The type of immorality that controlled the earth those days. Aina ya washerati ambao ilikuwa duniani siku hizo. Was so high. Ilikuwa ya kiwango cha juu kabisa. Because it was done amongst the people of God. Kwa sababu ilifanywa kati ya watu wa Mungu. He saying the sons of God. Anasema wana wa Mungu. And the daughters of men. Na mabinti wa wanadamu. Now let me ask you. Sasa wacha niwaulize. How